The Gulfstream G650's wings are constantly trying to rip themselves off the airplane at cruise speed, and that's exactly how they were designed to work. So, while flying at Mach 0, 925, the wings generate so much lift that they bend upward nearly six feet at the tips. Most aircraft would snap in half. The G650 uses this violence against itself. NASA helped Gulfstream develop active load alleviation, a system that reads wing stress 1, 0, 0 times per second through embedded sensors. When the computer detects dangerous flex, it instantly commands the flaps to deflect downward, creating negative lift that pulls the wing tip back down. This happens continuously throughout flight. The wings are literally fighting themselves every millisecond, with the flaps countering the main wing's lift in real-time micro-adjustments. Here's the impossible part. By allowing the wings to bend dramatically instead of building them rigid, Gulfstream eliminated two double ozone pounds of structural reinforcement. The system reduces peak wing loads by 27 compared to a traditional design. Those saved two zero zone pounds became fuel capacity. That fuel capacity became the G650 7500 nautical mile range. The difference between stopping for gas or flying nonstop from New York to Dubai, the airplane that looks strongest is actually designed to be weak. The G650's wings survive by surrendering to the forces trying to destroy them, then using those same forces to fly farther than any business jet in history. Your intuition about strength was backwards. 